The Ron and Fez Show, every weekday on the Opie and Anthony channel, Sirius XM. And Fez Watley wanted to uh, talk with us all today. Today, of course, uh, um, he's mentioned for quite some time that he wanted to do an announcement. And this is one year ago since your dad passed away, Fez. Yeah, one year ago today. So you decided to, that today is a day that you wanted to uh, talk to the audience about stuff that's been going on with you. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, of course, that day uh, last year was one of the biggest changes of my life. And so um, big change to announce today uh, on the Ron and Fez show. So today seemed like the appropriate day to make this announcement and... Just let everyone know, and I appreciate everyone who's been so interested during the announcement, but just to let everyone know that um, I've come to terms with things, and I just want to tell everyone that, yes, I'm gay. Ron, I'm gay. That's the announcement. I'm putting it out there. It's not a bit. It's not a character. I'm Fez Watley, and I'm gay. So you're, you play a gay character? No, 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 no. I am a gay person. The old Jersey governor put it best. I am a gay American. And I'm Fez Watley. You are... Gay. Finally ready to say the thing that's taken now years to say. Yes. I wanted to do it before I was 30. <laughs> well, Fez Watley. Uh-huh. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for the patience and Oh, I everything. have no patience with you. <laughs> my patience well, I'm has, still living. has been shot years ago. This is it. This is actually it. You're gay, and you plan to live an openly gay lifestyle. Open, honest, authentic. I'm gay! I'm Fez Watley, and I'm gay! I don't know if you're (laughs) understanding this. I am getting it now. I'm gay! And it's completely on the up and up. (sighs) Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. (laughs) Hopefully. Um, Now... I will. I'm gonna honestly say this: the ease that you've done this uh-huh. is phenomenal. Um. Well, no, now this I'm, part of it. Uh huh. Oh, this part. Yes. Yes. The, yeah. the fact that you said this, I waited to see whether you would fight your way through it or struggle through it. But no, you came right in here, almost no setup, and uh, you're out of the closet. I am completely out of the closet. You were the first person I came out of the closet to three and a half years ago. Three and a half years ago um, is when Fez told me what was bothering him. Uh, and that was the fact that you're gay. And that, yeah, and that was through a complete emotional breakdown. But did you honestly not even for a second when you were younger um, think, you know, that you were gay? I mean, like... I hear a lot of people when they come out and they'll say, oh, I always knew, uh-huh. or I knew since fifth grade, you know, I I knew years before I even started dating anyone, or even when I was dating girls, I know, but you aren't one of those guys. No, I just assumed I really hadn't, didn't have any interest. My thought was always that I was going to meet the right girl. And then I would be head over heels in love, and that would be it, you know? And the weird thing was how people kind of kept passing me up. You know, like in high school, you know, some some of the kids, some of my friends had started having sex. Right. And I didn't. Got to college, everybody was having sex or right. losing their virginity in college. Not me. And then, you know, and then people younger than me 
were starting to have their sexual lives and girlfriends and boyfriends and stuff and not me. And I just thought it's just not time yet. I just haven't met the right person. All right. So you went on all this time where, you know, telling people, no, I'm not gay. No, I'm not gay. I just have to stop. Did this really happen today? Is this real life? 